talking about the grains of sand. And I want you guys to look here behind me. I've got my son back there playing in the sand. And there's sand all over this beach. And when you actually look at them, there are such tiny, tiny pieces that the sand is immeasurable. But to God, he knows exactly how many grains of sand there are on every single beach. When we look at our life, there's so many different opportunities, so many different choices that we can make in life. And a lot of times it just kind of gets mixed in just like the sand on this beach and we lose sight of where we're going and what the big plan is and what our purpose in life is. But God wants you to know that you do have a purpose and he has a great plan for you. You are not just unnumbered to him. You are valuable and he created you for a specific design. In Psalms 139, 17 through 18, it tells us, How precious to me are your thoughts, O Lord! How vast is the sum of them! If I would count them, they are more than the sand. I awake and I am still with you. We have over 30,000 thoughts that we think a day and God cares about each one of them. If he didn't, he wouldn't tell us to take every thought captive and bring it into the obedience of Christ, which means our thoughts can run wild and we can have so many different things going on in our head. And when we look at it from a broad perspective, we think, where are we going? What are we doing? God wants us to slow down. He wants us to take time and enjoy life, but he wants us to have fellowship with him so we can find out that great design. So we're not just a little tiny speck that seems so insignificant in this world that he says he cares that much about you, that he knows who you are. He knows you by name. In fact, his DNA is in you. In 1 Kings 4.29, it tells us, God gave Solomon wisdom and very great insight and breathe of understanding as measureless as the sand on the seashore. God gave Solomon wisdom that was immeasurable. God is not a respecter of person and what he'll do for one, he'll do for all. So remember that God wants to talk to you. He wants to give you wisdom. No matter where you're at this morning, take time to pause and say, Lord, give me that wisdom. Show me new things about today of what I can do with where I'm at right now that will impact not just my life in the future, but my families and those that I come in contact with. Everywhere we go, people are watching you. We're out here on the beach, and I can tell you, people are watching you. They are looking at what you're doing, how you're interacting with your family, and how you're carrying yourself. Whether you talk to them or not, they have based an opinion of you of what they see. They can come up with a whole story of who you might be, where you came from, based on what you're currently doing. Are our actions reflecting the goodness of God? Are they demonstrating his purpose in our life to those around us? Are we being the light in the dark? Or are we blending in with everything else around us and seem like we're not even being noticed? I tell this to my kids all the time that no matter if you feel like you are being an example to someone, someone is looking up to you. And it may seem like, uh, no way, no one looks up to me at all. No one even cares what I do. Someone does. They may never tell you, and you may never know who it is, but there is always someone that's watching you. And you have no idea how big of an impact your life is making on someone else. Think about it this way. Who have you looked up to in the past that has no clue that you had even a thought about what they were doing and how it may have influenced the decision that you made in your life. Every grain of sand here on the beach is so important. My son was just talking to me about the different types of sand. You know, that first top layer closer to the houses are very soft and they're thick. But as you start getting closer down to the water, he calls it the crunchy sand to where it just isn't quite wet but it's a little dry and it has like a little crunch to it and it's packed down just a little bit more than the soft sand. Then you get down to the water and what happens? It is that hard packed 
wet sand that you can walk on. Well, there's different tiers of sand, different levels, different things that it's capable of doing. If you want to build a sand castle, you don't grab the soft sand and try and put it in a bucket and flip it over. What will happen is the moment you flip it over, it's all just going to kind of fall out and not stay compressed. But if you take just a little bit of water and you add it into the mix and you create this bond, then when you flip it over, it's going to stay right where you put it. Well, the same thing in our spiritual life. When we add the Word of God to our life, it's like adding that water into that mix of sand to where it becomes firm, it becomes solid. So when you try and get flipped upside down, you're going to be able to stand firm. Now, if we build that sand castle down there by the water, is it going to get washed away? Absolutely it is. But that doesn't mean that we're not able to build a sandcastle. It's about finding the right location, making sure that we have the right tools needed, and then you're gonna see it come together. I love when they have the sand competitions where everyone comes and they have to like sculpt all these things out of the sand and people get to use their imagination and they create some of the most beautiful works of art out of sand. Something that we would say is temporary or it's not gonna last forever. Well, you know what? We are here for such a limited time on this earth. There's going to be a time to where we leave this life. And it's not something to be scared about or think, oh gosh, why are we talking about this? It's part of life. And it's an exciting thing for us because we will live forever. The important thing is where are you going to spend eternity after that time? If you've asked Jesus into your heart, then you're going to spend eternity in heaven with him. If you haven't asked Jesus into your heart, then you'll spend eternity in a place called hell. The Bible tells us that he doesn't want anyone to perish and go to hell. In fact, he died on a cross and rose again three days later so you could live in eternity with him. All you have to do is ask him into your heart. So if you haven't done that this morning and you want to know that you're able to spend eternity with the Father in heaven, all you have to do is repeat this prayer. Lord, come into my life. Forgive me of my sins. Make me a new creation in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you prayed that prayer and you meant it in your heart, then you are now born again. You will live in eternity with Christ. And I'm so excited to say welcome to the body of Christ. The reason that we have these conversations and we talk about these things is so we can grow together. Each one of us are learning more about God. And when we come together as the body of Christ, we grow our faith, we get stronger, we're able to impact more and do more for the kingdom of God. If you have questions and you want to know, well, what do I do now that I've asked Jesus into my heart? Or maybe you have asked Jesus into your heart, but you still feel stuck. You don't know what your purpose in life is. We want to talk to you. We want to be able to send you scriptures, encouragement. We want to be able to help you find your gifts and your callings. So you can email us at morningcoffeewithjesus at hotmail.com. We will send you different things where you can find out what your spiritual gifts are, where you can find out what God's called you to do here on this earth. We are so excited about what God is doing in your life. We cannot wait to hear your testimonies. We hope this has helped you to know that each grain of sand is important and valuable to God, that he loves each and every one of you, and he has great things planned for your future. Thank you guys for watching. We want you to know you're never too young or too old to fulfill the call. Bye, you guys. We would like to invite you to follow Morning Coffee with Jesus podcast for your cup of encouragement. We also want to thank our friends and partners for helping us spread God's word around the world. If you would like to give or become a partner with the ministry, you can scan the QR code or visit morningcoffeewithjesus.com and click donate. When you give, we are able to tell more people about Jesus, help in our community, and give back into other ministries. If you have a prayer request or would like to stay connected, you can visit morningcoffeewithjesus.com slash stay connected.